I know it's very hard to believe, but I'm not in my 20s anymore. No, no, stop. <laughs> I'm really not. But when the years eventually do catch up with me, there are one or two options. Perhaps I could spend one or two hours more in the gym each week, or moisturise a little more regularly, or in more extreme circumstances, I could even go under the knife. And that brings me nicely onto this car, the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe. That previous version was undeniably handsome, but the redesigned model is now a stunner. Get up in that grill. It wasn't exactly a fossil in its previous form, but Hyundai has given its large SUV an update that it's calling a facelift. But as I'll explain, there's a lot more to it than that. An extensive exterior update has given Hyundai's large SUV a completely new look. The company's trademark cascading grille is now even more prominent, and it's flanked by a cool stacked headlight design and LED lighting technology is now standard. A range of alloy wheels tops out with a 20-inch design for the Highlander flagship, while at the rear, a new taillight design is connected by a full-width reflector and indicators. Under its new skin, however, the Hyundai Santa Fe is just as different. For a start, the engines may be the same 2.2-litre turbo diesel and 3.5-litre V6 petrol, but they've both been fettled. Power has changed minimally, but more importantly, they're much more efficient. And there's the interior. Yes, there are a few carryovers, like some familiar switches, but generally, it's been refreshed really effectively. Nice quality materials, everything you'd expect from the previous generation Santa Fe. But the centerpiece has to be the digital displays. There's a 10.3 inch version in the center here, that's a touch screen. And then down there, my clusters are now fully digital and measure 12.3 inches. These screens are massive, a bit bigger than my home telly. I don't know if it's just me, but the Santa Fe has actually grown in its dimensions, but somehow it feels a bit smaller. And that comes down to its drive characters. It seems nimble on its feet, but that doesn't seem to affect the ride quality too much. It's actually a great car for cruising kilometre after kilometre. And even if you find some unsealed surfaces, like Australia has plenty of, it's actually completely fine there too. The ride quality is really excellent, and that also translates through to really low noise levels in the cabin. Everyone would be very happy in here, including the most important person, the driver. And at the centre of all this goodness, I've got a 2.2-litre turbo diesel. Unfortunately, there are none of the 3.5-litre V6s to try today, but I'm quite happy about that because this engine does it all. 148 kilowatts, but the most important figure is 440 newton metres of torque. Off-the-mark performance is really, really respectable, but then also get your boot down in gear to overtake, for example, and it really is excellent there too. I love this engine, all-round great performer and efficient too. Around about 6 litres per 100 kilometres, says Hyundai. But to me, most significantly, this car rolls on an entirely new platform. Now, that doesn't sound like a mild update to me. That is major structural and architectural changes. You'll be seeing plenty more of that platform in new models. But for now, the Santa Fe benefits from a lighter architecture, better dynamics, and all-round improvement. Almost any other brand would be calling this a new model. In fact, some might be calling it all new. Yes, I'm looking at you, BMW. But if the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe is indeed a facelift, as Hyundai is insisting, then you're looking at the automotive equivalent of Wayne Newton. But that wouldn't be fair at all. The 2021 Santa Fe doesn't look like the reject department of a leather tannery that's been given one too many tucks. It's handsome, box fresh, and still punching well above its weight. So there's hope for us all.